Well, the big five! Oh, <laughs> welcome back to Final Fantasy IX Blind. This is part 50, and this is Snack Attack 8. We're going to talk to a penguin to kick off our milestone episode. The card game stadium is a blah, blah, blah. Ugh, oh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm resigned to the card game. I'm ready. Opponent is Attic Man Wake, the man who never leaves the attic, but also somehow knows how to play cards with people. I'm gonna use my strong cards. I wonder if maybe in the tournament I won't uh, lose them to people when I win. Let's see, get a good old lefty, get a good old... Maybe this guy. I need some guys got right arrows. The zombie maybe isn't that strong, I feel like, I don't know. I really don't know anything, but we're gonna try to beat this card game, cause why not? Maybe him? Yeah, that's, that works fine, that works. I get to go first. I'm gonna put uh, this guy in the middle. Man, what? Like, uh, am I just, am my cards just not strong enough? These guys have really, oh man, okay. Um. Put Ramu down here. He's probably good. What? What? How did he lose that? I don't... <laughs> I guess at this point, it's really not fair for me to say I don't understand the card game. Why is that guy so strong? Let's... There we go. No! Oh, I lost my Zagnol card. Is that all I needed to do? Like, I don't need to win this, right? You lost. You can play again. Do I really need to get, like, do I need to do this? I don't want to play this. <laughs> I'm bad at the card game. I should have looked up, really, how to, how to make it, like, winnable. Maybe I'm just not paying attention. But I do, I, I know I probably want to bring these strong cards. Bring you. I'm gonna bring you. Maybe the rarer they are, the further over they are on the list. No, we don't want that. Where was that other one? This guy was strong until... Oh, he's the one I lost. He seemed like he was doing good when I didn't have control over him. Maybe... Skeleton? Let's try it again. Put you in the corner. And go on the offensive. See, I got two... To, no, that should, why does... Like, so it looks like when we battle, like, we have hit points, but why do mine go down so much more? His don't go down at all. I can capture that guy. Jesus. Okay, there we go. I think I won that game. Somehow. Um, I'll take him. Sand Golem. Am I just gonna dumb dumb my way through these card games? Maybe I just needed to win one. Toot toot. Advance to the second round when you're ready. All right. Oh, we got another active time. We got two of them. Home sweet home. Vivi's home, huh? Let's see. What is this, a goop cave? This place hasn't changed. This is where I fell? I was staring at something down there. Grandpa helped me. There's a chest over there. I wonder what that is. I haven't liked heights ever since. Really, huh? This is Vivi's home? Dusty. Guess that's natural. It's been a long time since I left. Grandpa didn't need anything towards the end. Cooking tools are badly damaged. 
There he is. Oh yeah, that's right. He was a Queena race. I learned the art of fulfillment without eating food. What was he like a ascetic? You know, Queena looked so much like my grandpa. Okay. I'm not gonna get the other one. I probably will after I finish this shit. Cardona Bishop, huh? Let's see how we're gonna beat Cardona Bishop. Bring in you. Bring in you. <laughs> um, what was. I probably want him. That card seemed decent. Maybe we want the ones that have a two out front. Like this. Those seem pretty good. That seems like it might be like denoting which card is stronger. In that case, it feels like. Yeah, okay, Ramu is stronger than that guy. Not stronger than that guy, though. But. Maybe this guy is? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Gotcha. And we'll put you here. I think we're doing good actually for this game. Oh man, yeah, I don't I don't even know if we can lose this. Shiva can't take that guy out, but if I put Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um I'll take this one, I guess. I think that was probably a good uh, set of cards to be using there. I don't know, I guess maybe between episodes I could have like looked up who uh, only have one chance to play the final round. Oh man, Moogle and save. Yeah, maybe we will do that. Oh my god, so many things to watch. Good old days. This is Amarant. Who straight up ditched uh, Aiko. She almost got captured by a four-armed guy. Oh, it's you, Amarant. These two seem like they would get along. They're both kind of like the powerful but reserved folk. What are you doing looking out of the lake? I thought you'd be the quiet type. Maybe I've changed. Probably because of Zidane, I guess? Yeah. He seems to have that effect on people. Did you find what you were looking for? been investigating Kuja. People seem to think that he's the king. He was in the auction that one time. Found people who witnessed Kuja on his property. There's no proof that he is Lord King. What do you know? Nothing really. Hmm. I guess Amarant was probably from here? Uh, like, that's where he, at least, I'm not trying to stereotype, but it seems like he would fit in with this type. Who, me? I'm an unemployed security guard? What? It was painfully dull until the day he showed up. I've said too much. I guess we really don't know anything about this guy's backstory, so I'd be interested in learning that too. Interested in hearing about my past? Um... Well, which one of these would he be more, like, likely to respond to? Maybe this? Won't force it out of you. Or he just left. Maybe I should've watched, should've said that, I don't know. I was interested, though. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll... We'll find out more about that at some point. Premonition? Who's this gonna focus on? I'm back! How did you like Trino? It was okay. It's fun to meet different people. She only had her Moogles, that's right. There's a lot of people for a uh, little girl to get around and meet. Who Who's letting her like roam the village on her own? That just seems irresponsible. What about the others? They're gone. Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah, Tot wants to know, because he's a researcher. He wants to know all the workings of the world. Just curious. T 
teach me how to become a graceful princess like her. <laughs> yeah, I guess she was pretty... Is rumbustious? Is that really a word? I don't even know if I've heard that one. I think I can be just like her when I grow up. Of course. <laughs> you see, Dagger gave me her mark of a princess. Give me one of hers, and now she's got two, and I've got two. The crystals. What? The crystal was divided. One piece remained in Alexandria. The others were sent to Clara Lindblom, and... The Summoner Tribe took the last piece. Oh, yeah, that's right. So that was the different stones that everyone had, right? And I guess, yeah, so, so, okay, Aiko's stone is one of those. Did we ever, did we get confirmation on that before? I don't think we did. Why did they have to split the crystal? What happened 500 years ago to prompt such action? Excuse me. Get lost in my thoughts. So I guess after the queen died, Clara and, uh, the Lindblom crystals were, like, div the, uh, Garnet got them back somehow? I don't know why we wouldn't send them back to them, but I guess Aiko has two now, and Garnet has two of them. Is that what was happening there? Mog is calling me. Mog wanted to talk to a Moogle she met here, so I left her, but something's wrong. Uh-oh. Is it this Moogle that we're about to talk to up here? No, this is the dog-chasing one. Well, I guess we'll save. So, I, I, cause I do want to try to beat this guy. This final master. So we'll save. I actually saved between episodes. I checked to see if this guy had mail. He didn't. Or if he wanted mail. Which one did I save on? I'll save here. Alright. And I guess we'll go, knowing again, like, nothing about the card game, we'll go. I guess, it seems like, though, I kind of had a better idea of what to do in that last uh, fight. I guess I can't know what cards my enemy has, so... Really, just, it's like, pick your best ones and get lucky. <laughs> More than anything. Aaron? This way, Regent. Oh, it's Sid. Yes, I know, but remember my condition. Oh, wait, Sid's the champion? Is this the girl in the sailor outfit? Oh, yeah, so, okay, she's the champion, that's right. Here she comes. I'm the champion, Aaron. I'd like to enter the tournament. Okay. Ew, Dad, it's an oglop. <laughs> is he just gonna be like, guac guac? But this oglop is my... <laughs> Since when am I your pet, Guac? You are an Oglop right now. Gotta play along. I'm the champion! Oh, okay, so... Aaron's the... The puppet in Sid's championship. I heard the champion is a master of winning games with Oglop cards. Aaron the Oglop master. Okay. Let's fight her. Either way, I guess we're gonna run into Sid here. That's probably what the point of all this was. Um, so we'll use you. You were strong. You were okay. What was my other two, two, one? You, right? No, I didn't. I don't think I used the ant lion, but we got we got that one. Let's see. I think this gives us good coverage. I guess. <laughs> I think it's better when the enemy goes first. There's the Oglob card. So I'm gonna put you up here. Just to get that. There we go. Um, maybe put you up here. In the top. Okay. I bet Ramu can probably beat an Oglob. Well, let, well, actually, let's put Shiva here. Get to fight either of these. Why did, didn't this happen once before? Take this one then, I guess. You probably beat it. Yeah, there we go. And we'll just put remove here. All right, I won. <laughs> I guess I get an Oglob card, huh? Which of these is best? 2X10 or 2P10? 
X is a uh, lower on the alphabet than P. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea how to play this card game. I guess I won though. That was pretty easy. That was the master. Getting those uh, summon cards really was what won this for me. I'm really like fortunate I went up there. Those were completely optional. Didn't know you were the champ, Aaron. Long time no see. What did we just get from beating that? It seemed like it could have been something good. I'm the champion. Still an oglop, huh, Sid? You haven't learned any manners. Cut me some slack. I'm in a rough spot, man. I'm mourning my lost love by flirting with all the other girls in the world. Mainly participating in the tournament, but there was something I wanted to test. Oh, the Hildegard, too. It must be running. I'm thinking that's the airship we get. Originally, I was thinking it was the, uh... Red Rose or whatever it was we were gonna eventually be able to control, but I'm thinking the Hildegard has got to be the one that we eventually will get to use to fly around. One that can fly without mist, because yeah, how else would we go anywhere? Can't go very fast yet, but we made it to Trino. I have a funny feeling there will be more trouble on the horizon. Yeah, this doll seems pretty uh, calm before the stormy. I'm sure our almighty Queen Garnet will take care of everything. And something bad's happening. A Moogle from Trino just told me. Something horrible's happening in Alexandria. See, like, ugh, why did we leave? We shouldn't have done that. It really doesn't make much sense to me. I guess maybe we, sh like, didn't even need to come here to Trino? We could have said that we just wanted to stay, couldn't we? Didn't, weren't we given the choice to go there? Peace is but a shadow of death. Desperate to forget its painful past, you must be Kuja talking. Though we hope for promising years after shedding a thousand tears, yesterday's sorrow constantly nears. While the moon shines blue by dawn, it will turn to scarlet hue. There he is. What an auspicious day. Garnet's ascension to the throne has brought hope and peace to this kingdom. The people are overjoyed. They believe a wonderful future is ahead of them. The celebration isn't over yet. Time to really light things up. Uh-oh. Your former master is here, Bahamut. Play a requiem for her and all of Alexandria. Getting another FMV of uh, Idol and just fucking everything up. Oh no. Damn. Oh man, I hope... Was that the church house? I hope Stiltskin wasn't in there! Stiltskin! This is bad news bears, man. Why didn't we think this would happen? I guess I thought Kuja would have a more, like, elegant plan than just bringing his new dragon buddy in here and blowing everything up. Man. This way, hurry! Oh, run, Hippo! Use your amazing speed that you don't have. Sorry I stole your cards. Your Highness. It is. I guess we could fight back. Don't we have a water Eidolon? We could use that. Yes, Your Highness. Soldiers have already assembled and awaited your orders. Hurry up, you fools! It's an emergency. I know you're all petrified from looking at this disgusting picture behind me, but we're, don't worry, we're getting it taken down. We're commissioning a new one for the new queen. Get your act together before the princess arrives. It's just a placeholder. Line up. Your Highness, as you can see, we're ready to act at any time. Give your orders. Um, protect the people, right? That's what we gotta do. Or we could ask Lindblum for help, but honestly, aren't all- Lindblum's probably still in ruins, right? We gotta protect the townsfolk first. We're gonna- oh man, why do I have to do this? Dojabon and Mullen- Mullenkenheim? They'll go protect the folk. We'll try our best. Ugh, why are the Knights of Pluto doing this? You guys will gather info. Um... You guys are gonna ask 
when, okay, you prepare the cannons. Man, was that right? I guess, I guess Garnet doesn't really know how to do any of this so far. Trust your powers, your highness, I know you will succeed. We got a high potion, why? What are Beatrix and Steiner gonna do? <laughs> Mother, I need your help in getting this disgusting painting out of the foyer. Ugh, look at that bunny! Oh no, what's happening to Garnet? Oh man, I know this song, I've heard it before. This was on feeder rhythm. <laughs> There's the, the Lavo spawn, as one of my commenters pointed out. This is it, Beatrix. I'll give my all for Alexandria. Oh, yeah! This is so cool! We get to play guards. I, really, this music is awesome, by the way. I always replayed this one on Theater Rhythm because it had such a cool, like... It has such a cool, like, uh, tempo and, like, time signature to it that it's just, like... Like, you get to, like, tap in, like, fun ways. It's just a fun song to play. Just gonna- Why would I not use all of Beatrix's, like, awesome attacks? Just do it. Thunder Slash. We don't get to see her very often. She's badass. Oh, uh, except for when she misses. That's not so great. Did we- Oh, we froze that guy? Does Steiner have, like, a crazy magic sword now? We can probably just attack these things. They're both pretty strong. Alright, it levels up. Maybe this is our way of catching Steiner back up with the rest of the party. He's way behind. He's like 10 levels behind or something. What do you got? Lady? Lady! I guess we'll go down here. Where are these guys running? I thought they would be trying to flee the town. But where, Beatrix? The enemy's close. Where are they at? Let me get them. Oh, there's, oh, there's that guy. I didn't, know he was, I didn't even see him up there. My TV's a little dark. Whenever I plug my Elgato in, it, it like changes the brightness on the TV. I guess that's a common thing with uh, capture cards. A lot of them do that. But uh, it's a, just a tad bit hard to see things sometimes. Actually, in the most recent project uh, that I recorded for Puddle Flames, um, yeah, that was a big problem. Like, like there were some points where I just couldn't see. I had to fondle around. It was kind of just a dark, dark game in some parts. I don't know why I'm talking about that now. I wonder if we've started recording for that yet. Who knows? It's not not relevant to what's happening right here. This is really cool, though. I really like this. Anytime we get to use, like, Beatrix, really, I like. She's so bomb. You wish to fight us, you despicable beast? Oh, there's two. We can take them. Look at how cool this is! I guess these are the two strongest warriors that Alexandria has. Seems like Steiner probably wasn't that strong when we started our quest, but he is now. Fyra. I think Beatrix actually has some uh, white magic. Does she? Yes, she does. Give ourselves one of those. We've lost a little bit of HP. And these guys seem to be getting a little bit wiser to uh, the two sword wielding buddies here. Ugh. And uh, I guess it's probably redundant to point this out, but this is clearly a uh, battle themed version of like the Beatrix theme, which is super cool. I don't know, I can't say enough good things about it. It's a good. I didn't do anything. I wonder if I can grind here. Wouldn't that be a, just a thing to do? Because we're going to want Steiner to be caught up in levels with the rest of the party. We'll take out one. Maybe we will use, like, a stronger spell or something. Got missed. I guess these guys are the Mistadons, right? Put her to sleep. We've got some stuff for that, though, right? What wakes people up? Anything? I don't know. Whatever. Um, minus Strike might actually be a decent thing to use right now, because we're pretty way down from what our HP was. Let's see how much this does. Six, uh, well, it, it, 
think it did a... Maybe it did more than a regular attack? I'm actually gonna use this again. I don't want Steiner to die. He can do a decent enough damage. How much is he doing without the minus strike? I mean, I guess at this point it, would, it wouldn't be right to use that because he's about to get all his HP back, but... Eh, he's doing more without it anyway. I figured he lost a lot of HP, probably would be good for him to use. Just attack, this guy's done. Done! I should've just been using potions with Steiner. Attacking with Beatrix, I would've done much better. Two levels though! We're getting all these Peridots too. Getting a pair of them, a pair of Peridots. I guess we probably just need to go through the whole city, right? And take these guys out. It seems like there are a lot of these uh, cinematic type battle scenes in this game, and I don't mind that. It's better than like if we had just gotten a cutscene of Steiner and Beatrix running through the city chopping guys up. We get to actually feel like we're playing in some part. They're just not like the most interesting battles because because of the story reason you're just kind of set up to win these, I feel like. I don't know. Not that they're not cool though. Let's just use Clim Hazard. That's a cool attack. Oosh. And with Steiner's attack, probably will be done, right? Done city! Got him. I like getting all this experience so fast, though. It hits me in a good spot. <laughs> I guess we can... Are you alright, Beatrix? I'm fine. You're wounded! It's just what a flesh wound. Persistent password. Alright, I guess we'll heal up in this. I wish I had... Why doesn't Beatrix have Kiraga? That would be helpful. Let's see. I don't think she has the AP or the MP actually to use it. Let's see. No. You can attack. You're strong. Then we'll get some more magic type stuff going after this. I think isn't just a regular attack from these two enough to do them in? I probably should be healing outside of battle just so we can get through these guys as fast as we can. Like our dark, our city on the brink of destruction background there. It's pretty cool. Beatrix is gaining levels too. We're getting cards from this too. Why are these Mystodons carrying cards? That's what I want to know. This is futile. Let's return to the castle. No. Cannot face the princess until we destroy all these beasts. In my honor, I vow to protect the princess, the citizens of Alexandria, and... I shall protect you! Steiner. Oh, these guys are... These guys like each other. <laughs> They don't know it yet. They're cute. I think I might just have Steiner use some high potions. Like, we have so many of them, and I never use them, because, like, there's always a healer in the party. We're past those dark days of not having one. Um, so I'm just gonna have Beatrix, our strong member, attack. Steiner's gonna be support item user. She could use some healing, too, though. I'm gonna give her one, also. Attack again. She really tanks those magic hits too. Oh man, am I what am I frozen? Oh man, we got uh Oh no, we're in trance, okay. Awesome. Well let me use my trance, I guess. Probably wanna do that. And I get I just get stronger attack, right? Let's see how much he'll do this time. There we go, two thousand. Right on. I guess I could be cutting these battles out, but they're just fun. They're cool. They're not like battles we usually see. This might be it for us. I'm not dying, man. Like, there's something I must tell you. What? I... <laughs> Don't worry. Tell me when we're... Al That's why I always say, tell me when we're done. Like, tell me when we finish. Because you know we're gonna. Someone's like, yo, I gotta tell you something before we end this off here. I'm like, well, tell me next time. I don't know. Steiner's in trance again? 
What? Are, like, what? Is he, like, supposed to be, like, auto entrance in this? Well, I guess we'll attack. What is he, fueled by the flames of love? I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> we'll have Beatrix heal this time, I guess. Or maybe just because these aren't regular battles, like we didn't get to walk around on the field or something, my trance just stayed. But I'll take it! I don't mind it! It would be cool if Beatrix could go into trance. We're gonna keep healing, actually. Oh, we're both asleep! Ugh. How climactic. Check my time here. Got a little rap on the watch. But -da 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 -da. I am asleep. There we go. You're going down! That's gotta be the last one, right? Oh, and I learned jelly. Well, I'm jelly. I wish I could fight like that. That was cool. The tiger who fell asleep, I suppose. I hear music. Uh oh. Where is it coming from? I feel like this could be really bad. Ah! What is. What? Am I not supposed to go through here? I guess not. Is something guiding me somewhere? Probably. Oh, I thought that was the way to Garnet's room. This is probably where I'm supposed to go. What is... Listen to this music. No, not supposed to go that way? Alright, lead me, light. Up to maybe the, the tallest tower? Whoa. I, like, get something here? Oh, these these knight statues are, like, blocking me off. Oh, I don't like this. This is making me nervous. Who? Good or bad? Like, is this how I'm supposed to save the city, or am I getting lured into, like, a deadly trap? Could either- honestly go either way. This music isn't clearly telling me whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, because it's playing my summoner song theme, but it also sounds kind of sinister. What is this place? I can still hear the music. Where is it coming from? What am I doing here? Mother. Zidane. No. I can't depend on them anymore. As the queen, I must protect my kingdom. And here we are. Oh, we're on the Hildegard, I guess, flying back. Ship is rocking pretty bad. I think, actually, this is going to be where we end our episode. Um, so we're going to end it on the cliffhanger. What is going to happen in Alexandria? We got our heroes here flying back to hopefully save the day. Guess we'll just have to find out in the next video. Until then, I have been Attack 8 guys. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one. Later.